Hi everybody, my name's Linnea and this is my singleness vlog. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Lent and about sacrifice. And yeah, I know this video is about two weeks late for the beginning of Lent, but things in my life got a little busy and crazy and I always try to prioritize quality time with friends and sleep above everything else. But enough about that. Let's get started. If you don't know what Lent is, you're about to learn. Lent is the 40-day time period before Easter, and you may be more familiar with Mardi Gras, which translated from French, Mardi meaning Tuesday and Gras meaning fat, is the day before Lent begins. It's basically a huge celebration where you eat everything and do everything that you won't be able to eat or do for the next 40 days. Traditionally, the 40 days of Lent are a time period in which you give up something that has separated you from being devoted to God. It's a preparation, uh, mental, physical, and spiritual, for the celebration of Christ's resurrection on Easter Sunday. For example, some people give up candy. A co-worker of mine gave up chocolate, and his wife gave up Facebook. Personally, I chose to give up Netflix for the duration of Lent. The good news is, you don't have to be religious or spiritual or anything like that to practice the art of sacrifice. Sacrifice can be good for a number of reasons. It can help you get rid of a nasty habit. It can help you realize if something was really important enough to be in your life and eating up your time in the first place and it can give you the opportunity to try new things that you aren't used to. As single people, sacrifice is incredibly important in our lives because unlike those who are in a relationship and are forced to sacrifice for their partner, no one is making us do anything. Now we've talked about how one of the facets of our singleness superpower is time, but like Uncle Ben said, with great power comes great responsibility. And to be honest, we single people are terrible at using our superpower of time well. Instead of using our time to save the planet or something like that, usually we're on Netflix or Facebook or Instagram or some other potentially meaningless website. And let me tell you, right now I'm preaching to the choir because this is one of my biggest faults. And that's why I gave up Netflix for 40 days. Before Lent, I was spending on average two to three hours a day on Netflix. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but on an average workday, I only have four hours between getting home and going to bed. That means three quarters of my free time was spent watching Netflix instead of doing something truly relaxing, constructive, and beneficial. In the two weeks since Lent began, I have been more spontaneous and engaged with my friends, I've finished reading a book and completed reading a comic book series, and have had far more time for some personal projects, including a deep spring clean of my apartment. You may notice that the cards that were once sitting on the ledge behind me are now hanging on a Pinterest-inspired string. I've been meaning to do that since I moved in almost a year and a half ago. Now look, I'm not saying that Netflix is inherently a bad thing or Facebook, or Instagram, or any other kind of social media for that matter. But I do feel like these handy tools are often using us, instead of us using them. Do you have something in your life that's controlling you? Something that you could give up anytime you wanted? Something that's eating up all of your time and preventing you from accomplishing your true goals? That was Netflix for me. Think about it. And if you have an idea of what that is, Try giving it up for a while. And hey, sacrifice isn't easy. There's going to be an emptiness where that thing was for a while. So have a plan. Make a list of the things that you want to accomplish in lieu of what you gave up. And when you want to cave in and do that thing that you're trying to give up, call a friend. Let them know that you're struggling. Share the load. Share the load. may not be no trip to Mordor, but it ain't no spring fling in Rivendell either. Look, long story short, time is precious, and as a single person, you have a lot of it. You can do a lot better than spending your whole day browsing through Facebook, 
or binge watching whatever on Netflix. If something's eating up your time, try sacrificing it. Give it up and use the time you gain to do something beautiful.